how to fix Fortnite error code 10022. So if you're playing Fortnite recently and you're having facing this unexpected error which is associated with the easy anti-cheat and you're getting the problems of the error code of 10022 and your game is not able to launch, here is a video and I'm going to show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. So the error code 10022 will occur when you launch the game with easy anti-cheat and majority of the players are experiencing this problem just because there are some security issues and that is the resulting in blocking your server. So to fix this problem, what you need to do is there are a couple of steps that you can try. First and foremost, what you can do is you make sure that you have a stable internet connection. And by stable internet connection, what I mean is if you're using a broadband connection, if you're using a mobile Wi-Fi or whatever to call it, just switch it to something else. Probably you can check that if you in your home, if you have two broadband connections, you can try to change it to something else. Or if generally I do that when there is a problem with the network, if you're using a broadband issue and you get any kind of error, you switch it to your mobile hotspot. Whenever you do that, it will completely change your network and then you try the game, probably it will help you to fix it. If that doesn't help, you can move to the next step. Now before trying all these things, which are the steps I'm gonna tell you right now, make sure you have updated all your drivers and your windows and everything is perfectly clean and neat so that you don't have any issues resulting on those things. Like let's say for example, if you don't have your drivers updated, Probably that may be the issue that is hindering with the easy anti-cheat. Something, anything can happen. So make sure everything is updated. Your drivers, your windows. If you're using a console, update your console, update Fortnite as well. And see everything are manually checked to avoid any issues. The next step would be if you're having this problem, make sure you check whether you have a ensure connectivity with the EAC server. If you have any kind of problems in your internet connection, this will tell you whether there is a problem which so that you need to change your connection or your broadband to something else. Or if you don't have a, a problem, it will give you the results. So what you need to do is, first and foremost, open any of your browser, whichever you have, and simply type the message which I've given in, in the description. So simply click on it. So as you can see, I have typed this, which is called HTTPS download alternate easy anti cheat.net. And if you press enter, it should display like, a 200 code which in HTTP is okay. So this means that my internet connection is perfect. You try this if there is any issue. So that means you have to change your connection. After this, you can move to the next step. The next step would be to manually repair our easy anti-cheat service. What you have to do is just open your Fortnite directory. In the Fortnite folder, what you have to do is you have to go to Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and then you will find easy anti-cheat. So simply double click on this easy anti-cheat setup and a small little thing will come up on your screen as you can see right now. And here what you have to do is simply click on the repair service or you can choose the current game which is right now installed as a Fortnite. You can simply click on repair service. For me, I'm not getting the issue so I'm not gonna click it but you can click on repair service and then try launching the game. The next step which you can do is if you don't have a connection which is an like a stable connection, like you're changing the network but you're still getting an error in when you're doing that HTTP 200 code, what you can do is we will change our DNS server. How to do that? Go to your network thing and right click on it and click on open network and internet settings. Over here, click on change adapter options and then right click on the Wi-Fi or your internet broadband, whichever you're using and then go to properties. Over here, this small little thing will come up. You have to click on internet protocol version four, TCP IP version four. Go to properties and make sure this thing should come up and here it will be selected obtain DNS server address automatically which will be by default. What you have to do is you have to click on this use the following DNS server address and you have to put here 8888 eight, 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 and then 8844. Eight, four. This is one DNS server which is the Google DNS server which we can use and if this DNS server does not work there's an alternative for it. What you have to do is you type here 1111 and then 1 zero zero one after you have done this just simply click on okay click okay close everything restart your network router or restart your pc and then try the game last and the final step is sending a ticket to the easy anti-cheat support team what you have to do is open any one of your browser in this browser what you have to do is there's a link provided in the description you can click on that and this little thing will pop up 
If you're facing the problem with Fortnite, there is a link provided here. You can right click on it, copy that link and you can go to that link. Or if you're not facing the problems with, uh, let's say some other games, you can choose the game over there and submit the ticket. But if you're facing the problems with Fortnite, what you need to do is you have to open this website as you can see over here. I'll provide this in the description as well. Scroll down and we'll click on Fortnite over here. And then we don't need to do all these things. We just have to click on contact us. And over here, obviously you have to log in. And after you have logged in, as you can see, I have logged into my account and this is my ID. So uh, over here, you can see that you can choose your platform, but it is optional completely. You describe your problem that you're facing the issue with your easy anti-cheat. And you can put your, uh, the image file of that particular uh, error code or that 100022 and put it over here and then click on submit a request. So you can do this and it, you have to wait like uh, 20 to half an hour, uh, then uh, you will get a reply in your mail. And from there you can find the person who will help you directly over from Epic and to solve your problem. So that was a video that was some simple steps in order to fix this problem. If the problem still persists, you can comment down below on what platform you're playing the game. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you, this does not help you, do dislike it. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.